Recently I uploaded a video called The Fish of a Thousand Casts and that was chronicling my little five day or four day or whatever it was adventure and attempting to and finally actually succeeding at catching a Chinook from the beach at my local river estuary. And to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if that fish did take a thousand casts or more to catch. And today the plan is very similar. This video could once again take multiple days to film like that one did. So here's the plan now. For this particular river estuary, the absolute best time by far to fish it is when the low tide cycles into these super, super low tides and you can fish all the way out here off this spot, which is the furthest out place you can cast into the ocean and it's also adjacent to the main river channel which is why this spot is so good. So what I'm going to be trying to do, and this was probably given away by the title, I am going to be counting the exact amount of casts it takes to catch a Chinook from the beach. I've seen visible Chinook on the surface twice now. A group of two swam by me super fast and I made an okay cast but didn't get anything and then I just saw I think those same two again coming back this way but they angled out away from shore. Oh never mind there they are. That's them right there. That's a good cast actually. Oh, the V just went towards my spoon. Oh, man. Oh, he boiled. He didn't boil on my spoon, but I did actually make a pretty good cast right there, even though that thing was really far away. We got the salmon again coming right in front of us. Oh my God, it's so close. It's so close. Oh, it just went so close in front of me. It's still right out there. Let's try a slower retrieve by a man. That thing is going fast. Oh, he just hit it. No. Oh, there's a giant boil where he just hit it. No. Oh my God, I can't believe I just missed that. Oh, that was a big fish. That's the, that's the same fish I've seen go back and forth twice now. That was cool though. Sight fishing Chinook from the beach. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty sure I'm on cast like, I don't know, 200 something. Let's see. Need to add two more. 245. That fish is coming back. Further out this time, you know, maybe he could even bite again because he really like barely bumped it the first time and he liked the slow retrieve so I'm gonna do that the really slow retrieve I don't see the V anymore he was right at the end of my casting distance if he kept oh he followed it oh. <laughs> okay which way did he go I'm not sure if he went over there or if he went over there. Oh, he likes the slow retrieve. I can see there's three of them actually, not one, there's three of them. Could even be a group of coho. I think they're Chinook though, because they're big. This is going right in front of them right now. Perfect cast, come on, come on, come on. Come on, that was so perfect. Those might be coho, I think those might be coho. Like the V's seem so big that I could definitely see them being Chinook too, but the fact that they're in a school like that makes me think that they, a little bit, they might be Coho too. 272 casts in. You know, it's funny, I was the first person out here fishing and over a period of time, there was eventually like five or six guys here and I am now the last person still fishing here. Why is everybody leaving? There's coho on the surface and, I don't know, seals to hang out with and stuff. It's great out here. 300 casts. All right, well, my backpack's about to get swallowed by the tide, so I'm gonna, there goes my net. 
So I'm gonna put that thing on my back, carry the net with me, and uh, I can still fish a little while after this goes underwater and still be able to get back. Oh, I just saw it again. Yeah, what I was gonna say is that um, it's over there now. I might actually chase after him. But there was a salmon veeing, a big salmon veeing along the surface right beside me in between here and the shore in the super, super shallow water. Oh, there it is, two, two salmon. I can see two salmon in this super shallow water. Okay, okay, okay. Three, I can see three salmon. Look at that. Okay, okay, that's the group. That's a group of fish, not just one fish. Oh shit, why did I reel my spoon out of there? A fish just boiled on it. Right after I reeled my spoon away from there to cast at this other group, another fish just boiled on it. This is insane, this is such shallow water. I'm casting into like a foot and a half of water and there's a, a single salmon and a big group. I think some of them, okay, some of them are right there. <laughs> what is this, man? This is nuts. It'd be insane to have one of these things strike in two foot deep water. I'd be fighting this thing in nothing. Okay, where are they? Where did you go? Oh, I see one. Whatever these things were in the shallow water, I could not get them to bite, and the seal ripped through there a few times chasing after them. All in all, I ended out the day with 347 casts, over about 4 hours of fishing, so roughly 85 casts per hour. Here we are, day two, once again. And man, is it ever low visibility because of this fog. Honestly, for these beach fishing videos, it's created kind of a cool atmosphere. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? A salmon just veed right by me, a solo fish, and I didn't even uh, notice it, but it was just after I'd already made a cast, and I just happened to make the perfect cast that went right in front of the V, but he did not take, and I don't see the V anymore. It's a good start, though. I've been fishing for like 13 or 14 casts. There's a reason why this is my favorite fishing of the year. I'm literally in the ocean from shore sight fishing fish that could be as big as 20 or 30 pounds. I've seen that big solo fish on the surface two or three more times. I haven't really made any perfect casts, but he's definitely seen my spoon. And here come the masses. Four guys walking out onto the beach right now. I just saw a dolphin, either that or a porpoise. And I was going to go and run and grab the mirrorless camera to try and film it because he surfaced. Oh, there's sea lions there too because he surfaced or jumped like four or five times, but he seems to have totally disappeared. Tide's getting pretty high. We have just hit 300 casts on the second day. I also have not seen a single fish on the surface since those first few when I first got here. I'm just casting and hoping. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. That's gotta be cold. That's a, that's a school that's like 50 feet wide of salmon and of course my hook is tangled up. There we go. That's a school of like 50 or 100 salmon or more. Where did it go? Where did they go? How did, how does a school that giant disappear? That was insane. Ending day two with 343 casts. God, I just missed a giant fish. Huge boil up behind my spoon on like literally cast number eight. Oh my God. Oh shit, I stopped the cast too early, damn. I didn't mean to stop it at all. My finger just hit the line. Damn, I cast right on top of them. I was trying to cast like 30 feet past. Ooh, that might have that spoiled my chance at getting a fish right there. Little fish just boiled right in front of me. Oh, I just saw, I, I might have just seen a silver flash underwater. Okay, so I obviously had that one big boil that was definitely a Chinook, 
but this big school, which by the way, I'm pretty sure is the same school that yesterday I saw once and went, oh my God, it's a 50 foot wide school of fish. Off camera, I have seen that school like five or six more times, made good casts and not got a single bite. I might, that's a solo fish right there. That's one big fish right there. Where did he go? That was not the school of pinks. Anyway, oh, there he is, see that big boil? That was not on my spoon, but that was just right out there. Which way did he go? Well, a Chinook just jumped about, or something big, either a big cohort or a Chinook just jumped about, like, no exaggerate. There he goes again. There he goes again. There he goes again. There he goes again. That's probably about 15, 16 times he's jumped. Like, very high out of the water each time. I don't know uh, what's going on there, but that is a very big fish. There's like drastically more fish today than any other day. Like I've seen as many fish, to, more fish today than all the other days combined, like just fish on the surface and schools and stuff. Neither me or the, uh, the, the guy fly fishing here with me have got one to bite yet. Oh man, I wish I've got an extra SD card today and I could film more of this. There's fish all over. I'm switching again to a really, really small pink and silver spoon. I think a smaller presentation that's more subtle might be the thing to go for, but also maybe something that goes faster than that spinner. Anyway, if I hook a fish, I'll turn the camera on. Other than that, I'm just flat out not gonna film this insanity of fish boiling up right there and going in and out of the river channel. I've been messing around with spinners, little spoons, even jigs to try and catch these schooling fish. And then I just saw a giant Chinook jump. I'm switching back to the spoons. Huge. I think that's a stellar sea lion. <sighs> Looking right at me. He came up twice and both times just stared at me for like 20 seconds and then went on doing whatever he was doing. It's a wild type of fishing, man. We got some big boat waves coming in here. I might get a little bit wet. <laughs> Maybe not. Not too bad. I've fished in bigger waves that were just because of the wind. It's tailed off now, but for a while there seemed to be almost constant schools in front of me. And that sort of leads me to believe that there was multiple schools, but I don't know how many. For all I know, it could literally just be one big school that was constantly circling around in front of me like dozens of times. Oh no, I just had a fish boil on my spoon. I think that might have been a coho. Could have been, it was a Chinook or a coho, but either way, I definitely just had a fish boil on my spoon. Okay, make that two almost bites throughout the whole like four hour day. Wow, the action is really picking up. Oh my God, that same Chinook just jumped almost within casting distance. Holy it's huge. It might be bigger than, than I thought. Like it could be like 30. Okay, I can also see a school of fish out there. Okay, 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 okay. He was coming towards me. That's where he'd be by now. Right there, perfect. It's a little bit less far out than I'd like to be able to cast, but it's in the, in the ballpark of where he was. Come on, give me that 30 pounder. Oh man. I don't think I've ever had a beach fishing day where I've seen this many fish and not caught one. <sighs> well, ending off day three, 371 casts. As I say, ending off day three, there's a school of coho coming straight towards me. That's neat. That's pretty neat. Come on, bite the spoon. Bite it, please. And there they are. Wow, is there ever a lot of people already fishing today? 
and at the little parking lot where I parked my bike, all getting ready to come out here. But funny enough, my one spot that I like so much is open. Okay, there's not even waves breaking over the spit of land I'm trying to get out to yet, so I'm literally guessing where it is. All right, there's waves just starting to break over that spot as I'm halfway out there, so pretty ideal, actually. A few people, oh, there's fish right in front of me. Hello there. They're still coming towards me. They're about to boil up here very soon. Where did they go? Are they still coming towards me? Yep, told you. There they are. Man, this is why this spot is where I need to be. This is where the fish are. Well, glad my camera didn't work for that. Uh, I just lost about a four or five pound coho. I sight casted into a school. He bit and he rolled a bit and I lost him. And I can still see that school of coho just leaving the river mouth now. Well, that is definitely a better ratio of cast to fish hook than yesterday. I was like my seventh or eighth cast. Wow. I just had a coho absolutely hammer it on the surface. <sighs> Man, I wish I filmed that. That might not have even been a coho because it was a single fish that I saw on the surface. I just watched a school come out of their cast to it and had a coho boil on it. I don't know what is different today, but it is very different from yesterday. It's funny I said this because it is true there were more fish and more bitey fish today, but it would be another two and a half hours before I even got another bite. There you are, a few good fish knifing right there. Let's see if we can make a cast to them. There's also a giant, unbelievable school that is way out there that's coming in here. I don't even know what they are, but it's like a hundred feet wide and it's been on the surface for like five, 10 minutes now. I just saw a big jumper right beside me, another big jumper within casting distance and uh, there's still some co schools coming in occasionally. Yeah. We got something here that's not huge, but it is a fish. Might even be a cutthroat, but I think it's a small coho. Oh, there he goes. Little coho. Well, I just had another similar size small coho strike right in front of me. And then another hour later, 10 or 15 minutes before I would have to leave because of the rising tide, this happened. Solid coho. Oh no, he's right beside the stick. He's right beside the stick. Oh, he came around the stick. Okay. That was close. He's all wrapped up. Oh. Uh, it's a coho, so uh, it's not going to be a keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Beautiful coho, though. Yeah. I've actually hooked three today, but none this big. Yeah. Beautiful coho. Uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe seven pounds or so. There we go. That right there is a beautiful wild coho. Initially, my idea for this video was to count the exact number of casts it would take to catch a keeper Chinook from shore. But as you saw halfway through the four days, the first big schools of coho showed up here at my local river estuary. And although this fish isn't a keeper, and it's not quite as big as some Chinook can get, it is a beautiful wild fish, and I'm just as happy to experience catching it and releasing it as I am to catch a keeper Chinook. Even though I couldn't keep that fish, that was an incredible condition, healthy wild coho and just a great way to end off this video and uh, make these four days that I've spent losing fish, getting strikes, 
getting boils behind my spoon and just not quite landing one. All, in the end, worth it. Thank you so much to this month's Tier 3s, Dustin Hopkin and Henry Cole. And thank you to all the patrons for making a video like this one possible. If you're interested, check out my Patreon, link in the description down below. I post a podcast on there where I name the spots I have fished in videos and talk in depth about those videos. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. See you later.